From our headquarters in Beijing, this is CCTV News with Kathy Tian. The China, the world's most populated country, has just introduced a dramatic change to its population policy. Chinese officials have just announced plans to ease the controversial one-child policy. One reason? Economics. In an attempt to confront China's aging population and rising cost of labor, the government has issued a reform stating couples in which one member is an only child will be allowed to have two children, according to Xinhua News. Chinese couples used to be restricted to having only one child, except in specific circumstances, such as pilot programs, rural villages, and ethnic minorities. The reforms were decided upon at the Communist Party's third plenum, the four-day closed-door meetings in which around 400 top leaders were present was intended to create a blueprint for China's development for the next 10 years. Saudi Arabia holds the world's only ban on female drivers, but campaigners defied rulers on a day of action as much about women's rights as getting from A to B. For Saudi women who got behind the wheel yesterday, their actions were not a protest. Aziza Al Youssef, a lecturer at King Saud University, is one of the 60 women who hoped that by defying warnings in a kingdom ruled by hardline clerics, the concept of female drivers could be viewed as normal. Two years ago, dozens of women took part in a similar campaign, posting photos on social networking sites of themselves driving. A growing number of men are also campaigning for women's rights. A key safar is one of them. Despite King Abdullah expanding the rights of women, he faces opposition from traditionalist clerics. The driving ban still remains in force. The man responsible for last year's deadly shooting rampage in Arizona has been sentenced today. 24-year-old Jared Lee Lofner was sentenced to seven life terms plus 140 years in prison. In January 2011, he opened fire at a political meeting held by Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and killed six people. Giffords, who was shot in the head, had her husband speak on her behalf. Lofner didn't speak or show emotion at today's hearing. Since being taken into custody, he has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Another victim, Susan Hellman, touched on that during her testimony. Survivors of the shooting say they can now move on. It's unclear where Lofner will, will serve out his sentence. From Beijing, this is CCTV News. Thanks for watching. I'm Kathy Tian, and have a good night.